Hello guys, I am Gaurang and welcome to another video tutorial of Biotech Guide. So today in this video we are talking about that classification of amino acids basis on R group. Then second we are talking about that electrochemical properties of amino acids. So stay tuned with us and enjoying this video lecture. So first I am talking about classification of amino acids basis on a R group. Before we starting our video, if we want to see structure of amino acids and other classification of amino acids link given in a description box. So let's start classification of amino acids basis on a R group classified into 8th group. You already know about that structure of amino acids. Here you can see middle carbon also called chiral carbon have a 4 groups. First carboxylic group CWH, second amino group NH2, third hydrogen group H and fourth last R group also called as a side chain. On the basis of this R group amino acids are classified into the eight groups. Aliphatic, aromatic, hydroxyl group containing, carboxylic group containing, amino group containing, amino group containing, sulfur group containing and last one amide group containing amino acids. Let us discuss some example of them. First, in aliphatic amino acids, valine, alanine, leucine, isoleucine, and glycerin amino acids are involved and memorize them using valig, V A L I G. Second, in aromatic amino acids, phenylalanine, tryptophan, and tyrosine amino acids are involved and memorize them using P T T. Third, in hydroxyl group containing amino acids, sarin and threonine amino acids are involved and memorize them using ST. Fourth, in carboxylic group containing amino acids, aspartate and glutamate amino acids are involved and memorize them using AG. Fifth, in amino group containing amino acids, only proline is involved. Sixth, in amino group containing amino acids, histidine arginine and lysine amino acids are involved. Memorize them using HAL H -A -L. In 7th, sulfur group containing amino acids, cysteine and methionine are involved and memorize them using CM. At last, in 8th, amide group containing amino acids, aspargine and glutamine are involved and memorize them using AG. Don't confuse in a carboxylic and amide group contain amino acids. Carboxylic group contain amino acids are aspartate and glutamate and in amide group contain amino acids are aspargine and glutamine. Now I am talking about second topic electrochemical properties of amino acids. Here electrochemical properties means that uh, exchange of electron as well as their chemical groups call them electrochemical properties. Let us discuss first property process with NaOH sodium hydroxide. See the reaction amino acids proceed with NaOH and form its salt plus H2O. Here you applied one fund is that a reaction is forms on carboxylic group of amino acids and used reagent. Here in this uh, first process OH hydroxyl group is removed and Na sodium take place to form its salt. Let us discuss second property is decarboxylation. Name stands removal of a CO2 carbon dioxide. Here is the same panda is applied a reaction is forms carboxylic group of amino acids. In this reaction one carbon and two oxygens are combined and form CO2 carbon dioxide that can be removed and forms amines plus CO2. Here you see in this reaction COO forms CO2 and remaining H combined with a chiral carbon. Let us discuss third property process with ammonia. Same fund is applied. You see in this reaction amino acids process with a amino group. Here in this reaction OH hydroxyl group is removal from amino acid and NH2 group take place and form amides plus H2O. 
Let us discuss fourth property transamination. Word stands exchange of amino group. But example of in this property an amino group of amino acids are further removed. Here you see in this reaction NH2 amino group of amino acids are removed and keto group take place and form keto acids. This reaction is also reversible when keto acids proceed with NH2 amino group. They form new amino acids. At last, fifth property is oxidative deamination. Oxidative deamination word stands addition of oxygen and removal of NH2 ammonia group. Here you see in this reaction an oxygen is added on NH2 amino group site and further it can be removed and form keto acid and NH3 ammonia. So these are fifth electrochemical properties of amino acids. Here we completed our topic. I hope you enjoy this video.